In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your domain name that you are currently using with WordPress. So if I come over here to chadnicely.com, you can see that I have WordPress installed on that domain name. So I have a blog and I have various pages I'm using with InstaBuilder and some other plugins, but I still want to be able to create links inside of Easy Links and not have it interfere with WordPress. So we have created a plugin that bridges Easy Links with WordPress. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So if we come back over here to Easy Links, let me just explain this a bit further. When I'm creating a new link, whether it be inside the link bank, the rotator, the email campaigns, or wherever else, I'm going to go over here and obviously I'm going to set up my link name. So we'll just go ahead and set up eBay. And so obviously my destination link is going to be ebay.com. Now, we have the option to go ahead and choose an admin domain. Most of you are familiar with this. So ibi3g.com is our admin domain. And notice I've got the username inside of the link as well. That's not great for branding. That's fine if you're just doing like a short-term affiliate link or you need to set up a campaign in a hurry. But if you want to start branding yourself and you want to have a nice clean link without our admin here, well, that's how we're going to do this. So step number one, you're going to come over here to manage groups and you're going to click on domains. And now I'm going to go ahead and click add new user domain. So we'll click this and there's three fills that we need to fill out here for WordPress. So my name is going to be chadnicely.com. It's going to be whatever you want. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in a slug. Now this doesn't have to be a big deal, okay? This is used to identify you inside the URL. So it can be something like recommends, bonus, you can do a simple letter, whatever you want to do, okay? So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and do recommends, and then we're going to go ahead and put in our URL. So http colon forward slash slash, and then chadnicely.com. And that's it. Don't worry about this C name URL. It has nothing to do with WordPress. So we're going to go ahead and click save changes. These three fields right here, that's all we need. And let's go ahead and click save changes. Now we see that my domain name has been added to easy links and we've got some options here. Now, since we're dealing with WordPress, the one that we're interested in is the one that says download WP plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and you see that it's gone and saved this zip file to my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one called recommends and I'm going to go ahead and paste this on the desktop. That way I know exactly where it's at. Here it is right here. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and log in to our WordPress site. So I'm going to go ahead and go chadnicely.com forward slash WP admin. But if you're familiar with WordPress, you already know how to do this. Now I should already be logged in. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and install a plugin just like we've always done before. So I'm going to come down here to plugins. I'm going to go ahead and click this. And now we're going to click on add new. Next, we're going to click on upload plugin, and then we're going to go ahead and choose the file. So remember, I saved the file on my desktop. There it is right there. We're going to say open. It has found the plugin. Click install. And there we go. You see that the plugin has been installed successfully. So next, we're going to go ahead and click on activate plugin. And you see that it says the plugin has been activated. So if I click on active, I should go ahead and be able to scroll down here and you see that we have easy links right here. Version 1.0 is the version for me. So now our plugin has been activated. The next thing we need to do is come back over to easy links and go ahead and set up our campaign. Okay, so I'm back inside of easy links and if we've done everything right, we should be able to set up a new link with our new URL which is over there on our WordPress site. So I'll go ahead and call this one CNN. We're going to have CNN.com as the destination link. We're going to set this status to active. And now for our domain, I'm going to go ahead and choose chadnicely.com. And for the visible link, we're going to go CNN. I'll go ahead and leave this alone for now. We're going to click save. And now if I come over here to this CNN link, I'll go ahead and copy this. 
We'll open it up in another page and it should direct us over to CNN. And there you go. We're over here on CNN. Now, one thing I need to point out, we also have the ability to cloak the link. So see how I started with this link right here, but then what showed up in the URL bar was this link right here. Well, this is called cloaking. So we can make it to where this link is what you see all the time. And you do that inside your campaign. So if I come back over here and I click edit, see this link right here that says cloak URL? As soon as you click that, it'll show this visible link in the URL bar at all times. So they will never see the destination link. Okay, so that's how you use this domain on a site that's already using WordPress. Thank <laughs> you.